here's the PySync integration between Outlook and Odoo Online. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Contacts, open a contact. First, I'm going to re-log in. Oops. We see nothing in here. We're going to name a contact named Jill Kaczynski. We have no Jill in here today. We're going to do it in Outlook. New contact, Jill Kaczynski. Email jill at kaczynski.com. One, two, three, one, two, three, and we create. Oops. At gmail.com. Jill, uh, oops, there. That should do the trick. Perfect. That has been created. And you'll see here in PySync, you'll see it's possible changes have been detected. It's queuing it up. It may take a second. Scanning your data, this might take some time. Give it a moment. The sync just, this is a test. That was an old contact I created. Let's wait. I just created it 10 seconds before this video. Sync is active. It's gonna ask me, I didn't set the uh, Odoo account up correctly, but we should see, we have no Jillian Kaczynski as of yet. It may take a minute for it to recognize um, the, here it is, changes have been detected, just sync Jillian Kaczynski. Yep, I definitely have to change the Odoo login, log out, but you'll get the idea here. Um, contact Jillian Kaczynski was created in Odoo with the matching number, matching Gmail. So that is how the Odoo um, Outlook to um, Odoo Online integration works with PySync. Um, very rough and ready uh, example I gave here, but you know, high level, you should be able to see um, all the details. And you can also go into your PySync and get into the configuration rules here, right? Where you, if it's created in Outlook, then sync with Odoo. And if created in Odoo, sync with Outlook, avoid duplicates, define who's the boss, if Odoo wins or Outlook wins, if conflicting change is detected, and then here's where all your data field mapping occurs. And you can decide what you want to turn on and off. And you can also add fields. So we can pull any field from Outlook and we can define that field in the Odoo tables as well. So very cool and free. If you have any additional questions or you need help uh, getting this set up, just reach out. Thanks so much. Have a great day.